Hey there, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a planner task from a post in one of your team's channels. So first what you'll need to do is install tasks by planner and to do into your Microsoft Teams. To do this, you're going to click on the three little dots and you can just type in tasks by planner and to do. Click on that and it'll appear right here. Right click it here and then hit pin so that it will stay where it's supposed to stay. So you need to, uh, after you do this, you need to add a task or a plan to your channels. So to do that, you're gonna click on the plus symbol and add a plan. So assuming that you've got this set up, so you have plans and tasks uh, attached to your team's channel, you're set up to use it. I assume your system administrator's probably already done this. So now to actually turn a message into a task. So sometimes when you're having a conversation, you know, you might just be, uh, you know, discussing what questions we have for a new client. And then, uh, you know, the new, maybe uh, your team member responds back and says, new client uh, asked if we can submit paperwork to health insurance. So that was the response. So now you're like, yeah, we, I do need to uh, submit the paper to their health insurance. So you're going to go and over here, I mean, you could the other way without doing it from the team channel would just be to click on here, click on add task, fill it in, set the due date, assign it, etc. cetera. Uh, or you can do it directly from the posts. To do that, you're going to go and hover over it, click the three dots, more actions, create a task. So you're going to have a couple options here. So your first one is to create it under tasks, which is your personal to-do list. I want to make sure that that's clear. This uh, planner and tasks to do, or whatever it's called, tasks by planner and to do. It's it's a horrible name. It's really two different applications in one. Uh, but the tasks one is your individual to-do list. So that that's your to-do list, which nobody else can see. So if it's just something that you need to remind yourself to do, then fine, you can just put it in tasks, but really you want it to stay in the, you, know, you want it to be uh, posted to this YouTube testing channel so that everybody else knows that you're going to do it. So you're going to click on, it's in my team, Adam Playground, and then it's under the YouTube's task channel. And now you, you can set a to-do date, let's just say Friday, and then hit add task. So now you're going to see task was created. It's right here. You can either click here to view the details. Yep. So here's your details. And let's actually go back momentarily. Oh, maybe. So we're going to go back here and view it through this. So you're going to see, there it is. New client asked me to submit paperwork to health insurance. I, you cannot set an assignee from that location, so you'd have to either click on the view details and then add an assignee. So for here, I can assign myself to do it. You can open it like this, and then you can even go back to where this originated. Uh, and it will open it in your web browser. So hopefully that answers your question about what to do with this, and you, know, you can click done once you're done with it. And you may notice I have all these fun little posts where it says task complete. Uh, that was a, another automation that I've put together uh, that will automatically send a message in a channel when you have completed a plan attached to that channel. I will include a link to that little video if, if you think that may be something that would be useful to you. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope this was helpful. Thanks. Bye.